we're about to embark on a journey into the realm of faster than light travel and the wacky time paradoxes that come along with it. Is it possible to travel faster than the speed of light? What exactly happens when you do it? And why does it lead to time paradoxes? Buckle up and let's figure it out. First of all, let's discuss the concept of faster than light or FTL travel. This idea has captured our imaginations for decades. It's been the driving force behind some of the most beloved space adventures in popular culture. Just think of the iconic Star Trek series, where the USS Enterprise and its crew boldly go where no one has gone before, thanks to their warp drive technology. Or how about the epic Star Wars saga, where ships like the Millennium Falcon are defying the laws of physics with their hyperdrives? FTL travel is the key to exploring distant galaxies and discovering new civilizations. But here's the catch. In the real world, our current understanding of physics, as described by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, puts some serious limitations on FTL travel. Picture this. You're cruising in your FTL spaceship, zooming through the galaxy like a rock star on an interstellar tour. And you start accelerating and going super duper fast, almost at the speed of light. It's crazy fast, by the way, around 186,000 miles per second. But according to the theory of relativity, things start to get funky when you do that. Time starts playing tricks on you. This crazy phenomenon is called time dilation. It's when time slows down relative to an observer as speed increases. The faster you go, the slower time seems to tick from your perspective. Yep, you heard it right. Basically, time slows down for you. And while you might experience just a few seconds on your super fast journey back on Earth, years could have passed. So let's say you have a friend on Earth who's patiently waiting for your return. While you're out there exploring the cosmos at breakneck speeds, your friend might age significantly more than you. When you finally return to Earth, you might find that they've turned into a wise old sage while you're still fresh as a daisy. And here's the crazy part. Time dilation has actually been proven. It's not just science fiction, unlike FTL travel. Scientists have observed time dilation effects with super fast particles zooming through particle accelerators. We encounter this concept much more often than you think. It's crucial in our everyday lives, especially when it comes to our trusty GPS systems. Those satellites high above us are zooming around the Earth at crazy speeds. And guess what? their clocks tick just a tiny bit slower than ours down here. So, to make sure your GPS can navigate you to that funky restaurant downtown, scientists have to take time dilation into account. It's like a secret time traveling equation behind the scenes. But why does this happen? Well, according to Einstein, as you move faster and faster, the fabric of space and time itself gets all twisted and distorted. Imagine you're on a trampoline and you place a heavy ball in the middle. The trampoline stretches and creates a dent, right? In a similar way, Einstein's theory tells us that when you move really fast, like zooming through space, you create a dent in the fabric of space and time. Yep, you're like a really heavy ball, and the fabric of space-time itself gets all twisted and distorted, just like the trampoline. But here's the catch. The theory of relativity also tells us that as you approach the speed of light, the amount of energy required to keep accelerating increases dramatically. It's like trying to push that heavy ball on the unterrible trampoline harder and harder. It gets more and more difficult. Also, as you get closer to the speed of light, your mass appears to increase. So, it's like becoming an even heavier ball on the trampoline. And of course, this would make accelerating even harder. That's why, according to Einstein, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit. It's like a cosmic barrier that nothing with mass can surpass. But it never hurts to try, right? So let's have some fun. So, 
Why is time dilation so important when we talk about faster than light travel? Well, if we ever figure out a way to go faster than light, this phenomenon would come into play big time. It will start causing us some trouble by creating time paradoxes. Time paradox is like a cosmic brain teaser. Imagine you stumble upon a time machine and decide to travel back in time. You arrive at a moment in history where you encounter yourself. It's like looking into a mirror, but instead of your reflection, you see your own past self staring right back at you. Now, here's where things get wibbly wobbly. You decide to give your past self a high five. But wait a minute. If you high five your past self, who initiated the high five in the first place? It's a mind boggling loop that seems to defy the very concept of cause and effect. Welcome to the magical world of time paradox. It's basically a twisty turny situation where the cause and effect of an event becomes all jumbled up. One of the most famous time paradoxes is the grandfather paradox. Imagine you decide to use your time machine to go back in time and accidentally prevent your own grandparents from meeting. As a result, your parents are never born, which means you can't exist. But if you don't exist, how could you have gone back in time to prevent your grandparents meeting in the first place? It's like a cosmic puzzle where the pieces just don't fit. There's also the bootstrap paradox. Imagine you travel back in time and you decide to give Beethoven his own compositions before he even writes them. He becomes famous for that very piece of music. But where did it actually come from? Did you compose it or did you receive it from Beethoven? It's a mind-bending question of origins that keeps you guessing. Time paradoxes challenge our understanding of cause and effect and tease our logical minds. They make us question the very nature of time itself. So, why does FTL travel lead to time paradoxes? Well, if we could somehow travel faster than light, we would effectively be breaking the cosmic speed limit and violating the laws of physics as we currently understand them. This opens up a can of temporal worms, so to speak. Now, it's important to remember that the current scientific consensus is that FTL travel is highly unlikely. At least based on our current understanding of physics. The theory of relativity has been tested extensively and has held up really well. It's provided accurate predictions and explanations for almost everything. Almost. That doesn't mean we should stop exploring the concept of FTL travel or dreaming about the possibilities it holds. Science fiction has always been a playground where we can stretch our imaginations and inspire future scientific advancements. So folks, let's take a fun and simple dive into the real-world implications of FTL travel. Getting over the light speed limit means zipping through the cosmos faster than anything. Zooming past galaxies, exploring distant planets, and having a blast with your extraterrestrial pals. Scientists are always exploring new frontiers and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. They're constantly dreaming up new theories and concepts to explain the mysteries of the universe. So, do they have any ideas on how we can get over the speed of light? Actually, they do. For example, one intriguing idea is the concept of wormholes. These are like shortcuts that could potentially connect different parts of the universe. If we could harness and control these wormholes, it could open up possibilities for FTL travel. It's like having a highway system that bypasses the usual laws of space and time. Just be careful not to miss your exit. So, while FTL travel remains firmly in the realm of imagination and theoretical speculation for now, it doesn't dampen the spirits of exploration. Our universe is a vast playground of wonders waiting to be discovered. So, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep your eyes on the stars. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.